Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we're going to be discussing more about Photoshop and how I basically treat this photo for commercial photography. So the next step in this photo is we're going to go ahead and white balance this. So how we will do that is we're going to actually come up here to filter, camera raw filter. And what we're going to do is we're going to white balance it right here. We're going to go ahead and just sample it right there and notice how it changed it. So just for reference, that was before, this is after, before, after. Now this photo isn't quite there, so we're going to even tweak this a bit more. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to adjust the temperature slide to, I would say, about negative 15, even 16 we could. Notice the tints at negative 12. We can play with that as well. And let's actually go ahead and leave this at about negative, let's see, negative 15. Just for the sake of argument, we're going to go ahead and just reset this. Now how I'm doing that is coming up to the three bars, reset to default. That's the previous image that we were working with. Again, let's just see what this looks like. Go ahead and hit that again. Let's adjust this to about negative 16. I like where that is and we're going to hit OK. So now the image is white balanced so we can actually start working on the next part of the retouching. And now that's going to actually be dealing here with the eyes. So with regards to the eyes, we're going to go ahead and sharpen them, but not too much. I have an action for this. If you guys are interested in seeing how this action works and I can also break this down. But here is what this is going to look like. We're going to go right here to high pass sharpen. Go ahead and click on that. And we're going to come here to our brush. We're going to make sure that that brush is set at 100, 100. Okay. And the reason we're going to do that is I'm going to show you right now. We're going to shrink down this just a tad. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that right here, notice in this section, we're going to go ahead and hit X on our keyboard right there. And we want to make sure that we are working with the background. Okay. So. Go ahead and you see that difference right there, how it's clicking into the eye right there, right? So you can see that dramatic difference and that's why I'm doing it 100%. So you guys can actually see the difference. So let's go back to the original background layer, right? So that's where we started, right? And obviously that's adding a high pass sharpen. Now that's too sharp for me. So we're gonna actually adjust the opacity of this. And I would say, let's actually drop this to a about let's say 50 percent and we're actually going to change it up here as well so we're going to change this to 50 percent as well as this 50 percent and as well 50 percent so now when we step back and actually look at this image okay you can actually notice the difference in the sharpness of eyes. When you sharpen the eyes, you're gonna get more of a pop in your photo. And that's exactly what it's gonna be. It's that simple right there, guys. Like, not that complicated to do. So again, what did we do in this? We white balanced it. We sharpened those eyes just to add a little bit more emphasis. So this is going to be part two. These are going to be quick little videos. I'm going to do a part three and four on the next steps to prep the photo for actual commercial use and how that would look. So if you want to stick around and find out more about those videos, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.